What in the hell is going on in this here kitchen? Attention. Tonight at 10, a local college party is under investigation for possible drink tampering. We have the latest on this developing story. And a new class will soon be in session. UConn students will be able to take a first-of-its-kind cannabis class. Why one professor believes it's a win-win. Plus, tracking storms this evening and when cooler weather moves in. Tonight on the Fox 61 News at 10. Before I was diagnosed by my doctor, I didn't know why my body was moving like it had a mind of its own. My eyes blinked way too much, even though I didn't mean to. It turns out I have tardive dyskinesia, a condition that may be related to important medications I take for my bipolar disorder. My fingers moved like they were playing a piano that wasn't there. I was embarrassed that others could see my movements. My doctor said tardive dyskinesia can affect different parts of the body. It may also affect people who take medication for depression and schizophrenia. I know I shouldn't change or stop my medication, so I was glad to learn that TD is manageable. If this sounds like you or someone you know, visit TalkAboutTD.com or call 1-800-823-5126 to receive a free brochure that describes the uncontrollable movements of TD and where on the body they might occur. You'll find a free discussion guide with ways to start a conversation with your doctor about how TD might be affecting you. It's a relief to know that today, TD is manageable. Learn more at TalkAboutTD.com. At Humana, we believe great things are ahead of you when you start with healthy. And part of staying healthy means choosing the right Medicare plan. Humana can help. With original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits when you're sick, but keep in mind, you'll have to pay a deductible for each. A Medicare supplement plan can cover your deductibles and coinsurance, but you may pay higher premiums than you do with other plans, and prescription drug coverage isn't included. But with an all-in-one Humana Medicare Advantage plan, you could get all that coverage plus Part D prescription drug benefits. You get all this coverage for a $0 monthly plan premium in most areas, and Humana has a large network of doctors and hospitals. So call or go online today. Find out if your doctor is part of the Humana network and get your free decision guide. Discover how an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana could save you money. There is no obligation and the book is free. Attention oxygen therapy users. I wanted to let you know about Inogen. A new way for you to have oxygen anytime, anywhere. It's time to reclaim your independence with an Inogen One oxygen concentrator. Inogen makes its own oxygen from the air around you, so you'll never worry about running out of oxygen again. Call now for your free information kit. There's no obligation. Inogen. Oxygen anytime, anywhere. Call 800-382-1330. That's 800-382-1330. More traffic and transit reports. Maggie Sliz mornings. Rachel Lutzker afternoons. Every rush hour, every day, only on Fox 61 News. Get out. Oh, come on, Billy. Get out. Hey, you're beautiful when you're angry. Oh, get a new line, kid. I just heard the dude saying that the care behaves. <laughs> get out. Get out. And don't come back, Clover, because my nieces don't want to see no more boys around here, never. <laughs> what a fresh kid that was. Well, why would he be doing a thing like that to you, Billy? God, you're practically an older woman. <laughs> you don't think I wanted that kid to kiss me, do you? Oh, no, no, geez, I hope not. I mean, he grabbed me. It's a good thing we didn't let him get to Stephanie. Uh -oh. She would know how to handle a little mover like that. Oh, geez, well, I keep telling you this, and you won't pay no attention to me. All oh, boys as animals, you gotta keep them away. And there's only one way to keep them away, man. How? Keep them away from you. <laughs> no, it's just as simple as that. And that's what you gotta tell Stephanie. Me? Yes, you! Jeez, I'm a man, I can't talk about... You know, it's one of them women's subjectives there. Eric should have been here by now. Maybe he had an accident. Ah, uh, good idea. Ah, uh, listen. Uh... Uh, Billy wants to have a talk with you about uh, something that happened here. You want to talk to her, don't you, Billy? Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, the two of you just sit down here and have that little talk. See, I want to go out and finish watching my picture. Jeez, I'm missing all the good parts. <laughs> talk to me about what? Well, Eric left. Left? You mean he was here? Yeah. Um, why don't you sit down, Stephanie? What happened? 
Why did he leave? What, if you sit down, I'll explain it. What else did you say to him? Did he throw him out? Stephanie, well, Why does he do these things? No, listen, I'm Stephanie. I'm never going to talk to him again as long as I live. Stephanie, wait. Why did you do these things? Now, wait a minute. I ain't going to take the rap for this. I did not throw that kid out of here. She done that. I mean, after all, he wasn't trying to kiss me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, when I'm... Didn't you tell him about it out there? I thought you was gonna talk to her. Not that it was anything important. It's just that the kid got himself all excited uh, over Billy there, and he busted his leash. How could you kiss him when you know how I feel about him? Steph, I didn't kiss him. He came on to me. Eric wouldn't do that. Oh, I knew you liked him from the minute you saw him. I saw the way you looked at him in the restaurant. How did you look at him? I don't believe this. I don't want you sleeping in my room anymore. Oh, now, wait a minute, dear. Where else is she supposed to sleep? Now, look at this. The whole evening is shot. But I thought you was out there explaining the whole thing. I mean, whatever you said, I don't know, but couldn't you maybe use a little way called tack? <laughs> I mean, kids at this age, they get very high strung. Don't you know that? Archie. Just watch your movie. Yeah, well, that's all I want to do is just watch the movie here. God, and look at this. Ah, well, I ain't gonna worry about it. It'll all blow over. Just take it from me. I know what I'm talking about. Now, this is all. Ain't you just a little bit of shame? For what? For making your cousin Billy spend all night on a couch. It's better than having a traitor in your room. Come on, will you? Billy ain't no traitor. What are you telling him? This is all so stupid. Can't we forget it? I'll never forget. She stole my Eric. What are you doing about your Eric? What do you want him for? He's nothing but a little savage. He is not. Oh, 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 I seen him. Going for her with his kisses there. The two lips of him like magnets. <laughs> yeah? Well, I read in science that magnets can only attract objects that are compatible. Oh, what an awful name to call your little cousin if there's the one thing Billy ain't this compatible. <laughs> now, I want you to go in there and call her nicely for her breakfast. No. What? I don't want to go near her. Well, I don't want no more... I don't want no more battling in this house. Do what I tell you. You go in there and wake her up very sweetly and quietly and call her for her breakfast there. Now you do that. And now you, I, I, you obey me. Do that. Here. I hate violence. Any more violence, I'm gonna beat somebody up. <laughs> now, let's sit down and talk this thing over like human beings here. Now, you go way over there, you go way over there. She's really being such a baby about this. Baby? How would she feel if someone she trusted? Now, just a minute, just a minute. I happen to be the only living eyewitness to this whole thing here. I know what happened. Now, will you just let me very quickly, it'll take me a second, explain? Explain. Please do. It all started when I'm sitting over in my chair, watching the movies. <laughs> Luke Wayne is about the same gear behaves from the Russells. Around that point, the doorbell rung. Now, Billy goes to the door, she opens the door, and she lets in uh, your little friend, what's the name? Man? Eric. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so he comes into the room. These two were talking back and forth, and then, for some reason, Billy takes him out to the kitchen. Archie, don't help me. Will you let me finish, huh, please? 
Now I go back to watching the pictures. He's sitting in my chair, and then comes a commercial, you know, the one with the knife cutting through the brick there. <laughs> so I get up, I go into the kitchen for a beer. And? And I see your little boyfriend there going for Billy. Why? Why, honey, nobody knows why boys do things like that, you know? Sometimes they get too close to girls. Did you let him get too close to you? She said he looked cute up close. Oh, well, see, that's what you've done wrong. Oh, my God. I knew you were coming on to him, Billy. Oh, sure I was. And as soon as his mom lets him stay out past 10 o'clock, we're gonna go steady. <laughs> I wish you'd never have come here. Well, I don't have to stay. Oh, Billy, Billy, what are you telling me here? Uh -oh. Well, you have just made your little cousin leave home. Ain't that nice? And we'll never see her again. Well, I don't know what to do. At my wit's end here. I'm trying to make peace, but I guess it's going to take a bigger genius than me here. You need a peacemaker in this house that will scare you into making peace. Maybe somebody like our beloved Secretary of State, Alexander Scotch. Go, go. <laughs> Well, all I know is that none of this would have happened if you was where you belong this morning, which is in school. It's Saturday. Oh, uh, gee, Saturday. That's right. I got to open up the saloon. Well, I can't stay no more. And if you want to go on fighting, then, then go on fighting. I can't help it. Gee, fight it out to the death. I just hope that when I get back, whoever is left here will have a little bite of lunch for me. <laughs> well, how you doing? Hello. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> you and Billy talking to each other, yes? No. Oh, come on, kid. How long are you gonna keep this up? Forever. Well, you're young, you know. That may be okay for you, but I don't think I can wait that long. And <laughs> well, what are we gonna do? We're going to eat lunch. I made a vegetarian special for a change. I hate vegetarian. You eat too much beef. Hey, don't you know that the good Lord intended us to eat a lot of beef there, huh? That's why he made cows run slow and he gave them bum teeth so they couldn't defend themselves from it. <laughs> now, there's a rapping on the door. Never fails. The minute you get food on the table, there's a rapping on the door. I hope it's a friend of mine. I told him to get the hell out of here. Nobody. Oh, hey, hey, there's that kid there. What's his name running down the street? Eric? Yeah, yeah. Over here, look. See, there he goes. Hey, Miss Flowers. Oh, well, I'm gonna need more of an apology than that. They're from me. Yeah? To the prettiest girl in Queens. I'm sorry about what happened. Please forgive me. I love you, Billy. <laughs> Billy. What a creep. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Oh, oh listen. Uh,